I think what I need to do is pair the weak ones with the high guys. Because they're more reliable. That's what I should be doing. Okay, so this is to find the theater. Offender escape, officers unharmed. Of civilian unharmed. No! <laughs> Damn. Armed robbery? Oh god. Three teenagers armed with a shotgun have robbed a videotape store and made off with their whole collection of adult movies. The criminals fled in the car, but the store manager wrote down the car's license plate. The owner is one Janet Brown who lives in the suburbs. Yeah, we're sending in our two best officers. Good luck, guys. Jesus. We have no one. Oh, we have just, we have these two. Okay. Um, a brother and sister clash with each other over their deceased father's will. According to one of the lawyers, we don't dare separate them. The hospital guard is off duty tonight. It's a fight. You guys can handle a simple fight. I'll send one. You can handle one. She's by herself. Come on, Purdy. You're supposed to be a good officer. You're over 150. Maybe she's lazy. You never know. Ghetto. A uh, passerby saw some teenagers checking an elderly musician run away with his guitar and his money. I'm gonna ho okay. I can send three. I'm gonna hope. I'm gonna hope you small time officers can get the shot to get the job done. I'm gonna send Purdy and like Subaki here. Oh God! Direct orders. Armed robbery suburb. When your cops are unsure how to proceed, they might contact you and ask you to handle the situation. Try to deal with whatever comes up, but don't waste all your time on this stuff. You have plenty of other problems on the plate. Okay. The vehicle in question is parked right outside the brown residence. The sounds of moans, loud laughter can be heard through the living room window. Turn on the siren, loudspeaker, and shut that house is surrounded. Ooh. They had shotguns, didn't they? Nice! A fender caught, officers unarmed. Good shit, guys. Good fucking shit. This is why you send your two best officers. That's what I'm talking about. Are right, you guys handle that fight or what? Offender escaped, officer unharmed. Subaki. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to team you up with somebody, like Purdy. I hope you. Got, I hope you. These two can do something. I'm sending them on low profile missions. Cause. Okay, let's see. Offender escaped, officer unharmed. God, you guys are just choking away your jobs. Maybe pairing up them with the higher. I mean, that seems like a good strategy. End of day. Okay. You guys suck. These two are the only ones who did anything good. I wonder if I can see, like, their stats. Oh, I can. Let me see. P political views unknown. You guys failed this. These all these guys failed this. You failed two. You failed two. You failed two. Seems to have alcohol problems. Oh god, you're fucking like ninety, and you're a police officer. Are you kidding me? If you think you'll need a couple extra hands tomorrow, you can order any cop to come in the next day and work overtime. But if they're working flat out, they'll be more much more exhausted. Somebody's about to make a mistake. Um, who's on shift B? Man, all the ladies just, all the old ladies just, just, they just suck. You know what, bitch? You're working tomorrow. <laughs> nah, let's see. Maybe not. Who do we have? We have Stol- well, Stovel's a beast. Robin, Samadhi, Grant, Birch. This guy does not- look at this guy, he's a sad officer. He has not- he has not done a good job at all. His wife left him. Maybe she- they divorced. She looks happy, like a happy grandma. Okay. We might need someone else. Uh, I'm thinking of bringing Purdy with me. Or Sabuki. I feel like these two can... They should be able to... I want to raise their, their stats a little. You know what? We'll bring Sabuki and Austin. What, what's the point of having a moles? I don't know. Oh, that's their name. Mole, Debrito. I don't know who these guys are. I guess they're, they're like detective and investigators. So we have Grant, Austin. OK, 
Okay, yeah. I'm having DC work. Because I want to raise them a little. We have a lot of low-level officers, though. Can I send them home? I guess we're at home. Or you guys get the day off. <clears throat> Used to be when I asked Kendrick to stay late at the office, he liked to grumble and crack wise. Nowadays, he doesn't have the strength for it. Slumped shoulders, blank stare, wrinkled skin. The past few weeks, I don't hardly recognize my old friend. In his younger years, he reminded me of a gallant royal officer in an old Kipling story. Kendrick isn't just crumbling under the weight of the public pressure, but from the shame of it all. Internal affairs raided the library he inherited from his grandfather, hoping they'd find buckets of cash stashed in the pages. Heard about the look on his face, the fearless policeman standing helpless in horror. I've known Francis for thirty years. The past twenty years he's played loose with the law. And I know that at a certain point every stolen dollar brings more misery than anything else. Probably sounds crazy, but I sympathize with the guy. What can I do? Your friends are your friends, and these are the waters we swim in. Called all of the people on that list today. Now they know you're in business. So you could get a call from any of them. You don't need to worry about any of them. I've cleared them all. And what kind of business are we talking here? It's nothing too serious, just like you asked. Should be just a few small favors. Payments will vary depending on the situation and who you're dealing with. How much are you looking to earn? Half a million. Half a million? Why not a whole million? Because everybody wants to take a million. Figured I'd try something different. Half a million in 180 days? Well, you could earn it all above board if you netted all the big fish and hit all your bonuses. Never knew you for a fisherman. Well, you never got into my business, and I'm not trying to get into yours. But be careful about bringing in any other cops. Sooner or later, they'll put the finger on you. And, and one more thing, Jack. I remember what you said, but I should probably add one more name to that list. Christopher Sand. Sand. Christopher G. Sand. Everyone knows the name, but few could tell you who he is. The old man stays away from the spotlight. Always wears old-fashioned jeans and knitted sweaters. Gives to charity. Rarely attends social events. An avid hunter, I hear. Even dabbles in poetry. You'd never guess he's the head of the oldest and most powerful gang in the city. Goes back as far as his great-grandfather. And Sand is strict about following the old rules. He rarely involves himself in commonplace murders and robberies. Hardly needs to intimidate anyone to get his point across. The people who work for him each have their sphere. They provide protection where needed, even work with the authorities when they want to make a deal. Meanwhile, Sand pulls the strings without getting his hands dirty. People sometimes mistake his quiet approach. A couple years ago, an arms dealer decided to expand its business without asking permission, and his whole family paid the price. In four weeks, Sand killed 31 people, old men, women, even a few teenagers, and Sand's people made sure every paper reported it. Frank, I don't want to hear you say that name again. Jack, please, listen to me. I'm in with these guys. We agreed, Frank. That's not the kind of business I'm into. I don't go there. Never have, never will. Yo, this, this police department's shady as fuck. Day three. Oh. Okay. Francis Kendrick announced his retirement date. Construction of Cinema Museum postponed again. Can I read these? No. Can do anything else? Okay. Legendary singer Gennaro Crespo comes to Freeburg. That's not good. And there were someone of high status comes to a new, uh, a town. Crime will be on the rise. Okay, when a police officer... Let's see, asking for a day off. When a police officer is too tired to be effective, he will ask for a day off. 
Sometimes officers will request days off even when they're at full strength. Some of the reasons you'll hear are far-fetched, while some are very serious. Don't overindulge your subordinates. Why don't antagonize them either? Remember that the, that everybody's got secrets, and you've got to make sure these guys have your back. Okay. Who the fuck asking for a day off? In addition to their uh, performance ratings, police officers also possess rank. Employees begin at the lowest rank and can be elevated in rank with one, two, or three stripes. Once a week, you can pass out stripes and improve the rank of an, any employee. If you think one that one that no one is worthy of the honor some week, you can postpone the ceremony until later. Insignias won't go out until your people are ready. Okay. Oh, that improves his... Oh. Employees of rank not only increase in professionalism, but also learn to command. Whenever a rank, ranking officer is on the scene, his or her colleagues are more likely to perform better than usual. Sometimes when cops get ranks, they start thinking more seriously about their service. They can also... This can mean less drinking and more time spent on the job. Some of them might even turn out to be dependable. I have badges. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Can't really do much. Huh. Okay. Can't really give out a badge. I guess because it's the first day of the job. Freeburg isn't one of those days where you listen to what, you, what they say or nothing at all. You can always select any song from your collection and play it at any time. Just like in real life. While the life of, while the life of your grandfather. Music turned in. Choose a song to play. Wish I had a preview. Let's learn how to hire and fire cops. Oh, my favorite fucking... Okay, anyways. Um, my favorite thing to do. Firing people. No, it's not like Donald Trump. Oh, fairs. PlayStation. Labor markets. You have a certain number of paid job openings for which you can hire any available applicant. Job slots are separated between officers and detectives. Hire... 320 professionalism, good girl. Want to fill up a slot? Time to fire somebody. Oh god. What? I don't want to fire him! He's 400! What the fuck? If you have legal grounds for determination, no one will ask any questions. You might need to fire them anyway. Legality be damned, but that could land you additional proceedings in other officer. The other staff will become more worried about job security than they were, than they are about doing their jobs. Another way to free up slots is to have an officer killed, but that's not a valid option, right? What? I don't want to fire him! You have to free up a slot. I should, I should fire this? She's old as fuck. And she's she has the lowest integrity of all time. Is he here now? not fired. I think it should be fired at the end of the day. Alright, what's this? What's this? Oh, police station. Okay, what's this? Vandalism. St. John's Cathedral. We received a frightened call from the local cathedral this morning about uh, the morning the abbot discovered that someone entered the old cemetery in the night. The old yard's tombstones are painted with satanic signs and may have and some may have been broken into, into pieces. It seems there are even traces of a shovel but the abbot would say no more. Okay. <clears throat> you don't have too many high ranking officers. Let's put you and you. Vandalism. That's not good. Let's send the t let's send these two lower guys. I'll send them with the Robins. Um. See if they can handle that. Let's see if they can handle it. So I want a high-ranking officer with them. 
so they stay they're more prepared for their job all right not bad too for so, for, for so far it's a suspicious individual Let's see what this is offender caught officers unharmed good job guys good shit I like to see Eddie's Burgers, a waitress named Myla, reports that she just served a chicken Eddie and Diet Coke to a Danish criminal who's, who she'd seen on top of the store and a couple of cents at the window eating a burger. Thinks a false alarm. Uh oh. Officer escaped, or offender escaped. Oh. Why did they lose? I guess because the offender escaped. Ah, you guys disappointed me. God damn it. Come on, folks. Alright, we still haven't sent Stovel out. I'm waiting for like a high ranking mission. I knew it, false alarm. Which is a mistaken retired officer and Frank Nero for the fugitive. I knew it. Fucking knew it. Ah. Hmm. Mr. Boyd, my bouncer stuffs himself with the Mexican food again. Now you can't leave the bathroom, and the line outside the club is going around the block. What? You need to post someone who can tell you tell the cool guys from the idiots. Bam. Also because Sam Sorkin. I don't know. Good luck, bro. You're by yourself. It's actually a far mission. It's also night. Oh, that's a nightclub, so I guess it makes sense. Drug sales. Uh oh. An anonymous college came in a clown carrying balloons at the skating rink and son crashed a teenager. <laughs> yeah, let's get that. Let's get on that. Um. Yeah. Day's gonna end soon. I think it ends with 21 hours. Suicide threat. A naked man carrying a canister of gasoline has turned to set himself on fire unless his favorite chewing gum becomes popular. Oh my god. I'll send you. And you. Let's see this report. Sorry, Chief Boyd, but I quit. No one I earned more cash than I gained a month working for the FPD, Mr. Shurkin said. He wouldn't mind taking me on. I guess I just wasn't cut out to be a cop. What? 